The main event at UFC 283 in Brazil will feature light heavyweights Glover Teixeira and Jamal Hill, with the winner being crowned the new light heavyweight champ. After UFC 282's main event ended in a draw, it was very like unsatisfying. We ended up here, an aged former champion versus the next man up from the new generation of fighters. At first glance, one would all but assume that 43-year-old Glover Teixeira is one hit away from paralyzation as combat sports wear on the body after a lifetime of fights. The age, that's what motivates me. I wanna motivate the young kids that come up there. But the oldest fighter on the UFC roster does things on his own terms. While he is certainly past his prime and at the tail end of his career, make no mistake that old man strength is absolutely a thing. He may not be the most durable tool in the shed, but having decades of experience under his belt makes him crafty. Jamal Hill, on the other hand, is 31 years young and hungry for a title. But that's what I want to do. Sweet dreams want to get up in your face. I want, I want action. Only losing once in his professional career, Sweet Dreams is hoping to further his impressive record and add some shine to it with all the glory of being the light heavyweight champion. With seven of his 11 wins coming from KO, TKOs, Teixeira needs to be careful. Jamal Hill will be looking to end the fight without going to the judges, and 20 years of professional fighting for Glover is a lot of wear and tear on the body, making him a slowed and easy target for Hill's impressive power. He was hitting me with some body shots that was like, take my guess away, I was guess out, man, to be honest. This is going to be a solid main event to kick off 2023. On paper, I believe Hill is going to be the new champ by the end of the night, but something tells me this badass old man has a few tricks left up his sleeve. Will Glover be able to capitalize on a submission before the fight goes to the championship rounds? I'm just having fun and enjoy life and we have some great fighters out there. I see this one going back and forth with Glover looking down and out after the third, but coming back and ending the bout in the fourth with a surprise knockout. At least one could hope, right? But how do you think this one is going to end? Let us know in the comments below. This is the Athlete Academy. Thanks for watching.